Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Central and Chart Patterns Mastery free video, October 28th, 2024. What's this all about? Number one, no matter what anybody says, bonds and stocks still are correlated, but only at extremes. Let me show you what we're talking about. So I'm watching this with the interval. We're going to make the interval the same. On the left is going to be the TLT, the 20-year ETF. And we're going to show you where it was at the beginning of the month. So it was here, right there. On the other hand, the SPX on the right at the beginning of the month was all the way down here. So what that means is 50-50 funds that are half stock, half bonds, they have to rebalance things. They have to sell the S&P theoretically and they have to buy the bond market. Now, a lot of people get this wrong and they try to buy bonds saying, yeah, they got to buy the bond, so I'll buy ahead of them. The difference is though, is the bond market is gigantic and it has so many different maturities that heck, you don't know what the 50-50 funds are in. They could be in preferred stocks, interest rate, all kinds of stuff, commercial paper, all that. It's the S&P that matters more. And I think what you're going to see in here is this. I'm going to go and show you a graphic. And I want to show you the funds that what they own the most of. Now, keep in mind when I'm showing this. All I'm doing in here is I want to show you this. So this is the funds and what they own. Now, my theory, this is my theory, and it's worked a lot over the years, is that funds aren't going to sell the S&P. They're going to sell the big stocks, the ones the funds own the most of. Now, you always see on Twitter that people are like, oh, they'll mark up the Microsofts at the end of the uh, month, so they show it in their portfolio. Well, what a lot of people don't realize they could have it in their portfolio, but just less of a weighting. So I'm going to be watching this the next couple of days. So just keep in mind that funds, uh, it's different than the third Friday of the month of the quarter. The third Friday of the quarter, uh, also called triple witching, is when the S&P rebalances. They rebalance their indexes according to market capitalization, all that stuff. That's on the third Friday of the month at the last minute. On the other hand, funds don't have to do the last day of the month. They can try to race each other. So watch this. This is the calendar this week. So obviously today's the 28th. Usually they start two days early of selling stocks to try to get ahead of everybody else. Just keep that in mind in there. That's number one. Number two in here, I want to show you the biggest hedge fund holdings. You got the Microsoft, the Amazon. Obviously, a lot of these have earnings this week. But the ones that have already had earnings, they might already start lightening up on. That's why the title of this is using JP Morgan as one of my favorite tells. Why? You see, all these have big old hedge fund exposure. Hedge fund exposure. But JP Morgan has already rallied, you would think hedge funds have to lighten up, but that could be a bull flag. So I'm going to be using JP Morgan as a big old tell here. So you could use Microsoft, but like I said, a lot of these have earnings coming up. So that's not really it. How about Nvidia? Nvidia has earnings later, it has earnings here on the 20th of November. So yeah, you could put NVIDIA in the mix also of having to get pounded out. So I like, we're short NVIDIA right now. We're already short NVIDIA and it's fine. But I'm telling you right now, we're watching that JP Morgan. And now I'm going to sync this by symbol. And I want you to see JP Morgan on a daily chart. And I want you to see JP Morgan on the right on an hourly if that fails, then I think I'm going to be right that it's starting tomorrow. If I see the S&P, let's say up 20 tomorrow, but I see like JP Morgan act terrible, I think that's your first tip off to start shorting all those biggies, all the big ones, the JP Morgan. Now, the thing is, I want to take the stocks 
that don't have earnings this week. They might not rebalance those. I think they will no matter what, but they might wait for earnings. So you want to take the ones that have already had earnings, like Visa. So when are their earnings? Uh, sorry, the October 29th. So not, a, not Visa. You want to take the ones that already have had earnings. That would be JP Morgan. That would be NVIDIA that has way upcoming earnings. That's fine. So how about some of the other ones? So let's take them and see. You're going to see in here, how about MasterCard? Well, MasterCard has earnings upcoming. Just look at that little thing right here, like a little telephone and a light bulb. So how about some other ones? How about United Health? Well, that's already gotten pounded. That already got killed on earnings. How about Procter & Gamble? Big old hedge fund holding. Yeah, it refuses to go higher. I'm just telling you, I would take the ones that either don't have earnings this week or ones that have already reported. And, you know, let's just watch Walmart. Everybody and their mother owns a ton of that. How about Costco? There's another tell for you. Doesn't have earnings this week. Yeah, ES was up 18, stock was down. So I would look at the Costco's, the J.P. Morgan's, the Walmart's as your tells. So if they start rolling over, even if the ES opens up, I'm telling you, I think that's extremely bearish. So that's what I'm going to be watching when it comes to any kind of rebalance. And then we'll play to the short side. So in the uh, premium videos, I'm also going to show scanning for long ideas. Because in this kind of market, they could sell the NASDAQ. Just keep in mind, the NASDAQ's a $20,000 index. It was only up 13. The Russell's a $2,000 index. It was up 34. Yep, you're seeing that rotation. So just if you are a premium member, I'll be going over those. Take care. Have a great night. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher, and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Sippler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.